How are you all doing? What are we going up to in this video? Well, so I'm going to get a few uh, odd jobs done on this today. I mainly want to clean the chain sprockets up and uh, a few of the bits. So let's get cracking. Okay, so the plan was to put it on the centre stand, take the back wheel off and clean the chain and sprocket. But either I'm getting very weak and my back is about to break or this is a lot heavier than the divvy. When I had the white CBR I used to ask the wife to come and pull on the rack because I tried to get it on the centre stand and that was quite easy with two of us but unfortunately the wife isn't here this week and I certainly don't want to wait a week before I do this so what I'm going to do is leave it all in situ take the uh, chain guard off and try and clean the chain up like that Right, so we've managed to jack it up and uh, put these car stands on the uh, swing on so we could rotate the wheel. I could take the wheel off with like that but uh, I don't feel very safe because the actual bike starts slipping back slightly and I've got no brakes to lock on so... Oh Johnny, stop waffling. I'm pretty sure this is a new sprocket and chain or a new chain and sprocket doesn't look like it's had any oil on it whatsoever either that or it's been jet washed the old bike looks like it's been jet washed to be honest Most somebody's jet washed it and then uh, whatever the plans were it didn't happen so I ended up with it okay so first we're going to get the chain guard off uh, got two allen key bolts I think one there and one over here and they are the H6 Oh, that's a long screw. Nope, both the same size. Yes, looks like my suspicions were right. It has been jet washed because there's a bit they couldn't get to. Uh, I've got a number of wire brushes. Got the brass wire brush which is the best one I suppose two of these are supposed to be steel and two are supposed to be brass but to be honest with you they all look like steel so we're going to use this one Well, that's looking better already, a lot better. Yes, even the bad bits are coming off, so so leave me to go round with the wire brush and I'll be back in a bit. Okay then, we're back, which means we're done with the wire brush. Uh, it has made quite a bit of a mess, so I'm going to blow it off with my air gun. before and uh, after video yeah, that's what I mean look the paint starting to bubble off so I'm going to have to repaint this swing arm but that won't be till the summer when it gets nice and warm. This bike has got a Scott oiler on it of some kind. But I must admit I'm not a big fan of these things because they just make your back wheel filthy. 
A few years ago I used to be a machine setter in a cardboard box factory and the uh, top mechanic always told me never to oil the chains because there's very minute grit particles in oil which help wear out the chains. So he always told me to put a bit of grease on them instead. And that's what I've always done ever since. I uh, just use an old paintbrush and uh, paint my chain with grease. So leave me to do the rest of the chain and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so that's all the chain nicely greased up. Uh, I'm going to take this sprocket cover off just to check this sprocket's okay as well. Just noticed inside there we've got a brand new Agon shock. Agon, yeah. Hagon, Hagon, whatever they call it. Brand spanking new. Wow. Okay, so these are just 8mm bolts on the sprocket cover. <laughs> Very tight. That's one. Two. One up there somewhere. Three. Uh, I think there's one down there, oh, and one down there. Oh, yeah. I can see the gears one, neutral, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's got seven gears. Uh, I'll be joking. That one, and that last one. Oh, and the sprocket looks pretty good. No hooks or claws, no sharp teeth, all flat. That, that is quite new, you can still see the writing on it, starting to rust there. So, JTF. 1180. So the sprockets are all good. I think I'll leave the sprocket off and clean all this. Clean all that crap out. First, I'm going to get this got oiler thing off. Like I say, I'm not a fan whatsoever. Right, so we'll get rid of this pipe first. There's a little chewed belly clip going to this mechanism. Mechanism. Bracket plate thing. See if I can find the. Uh, it's fairly loose anyway. That's it, just a little tiny Jubilee clip. Pull out of those. That one. And that one. I zip tie around that bit, so Just cut that off. I think it's connected to that one as well. Let's cut that one off too. Okay, and there's three more up here holding this gizmo on. One, two, three. Hopefully, this is going to pull through. Okay, 
so there's two more pipes on this one's a vacuum pipe which I'm going to have to seal up not sure what that one is, be another vacuum pipe going to have to get this panel off I think that involves taking the seat off and I don't know if you can see that line there that's condensation so that is how much petrol there is in the tank I filled a can up, it cost me 10 quid pour it in there and that's how far it's gone up okay, so we've got the keys twist that Uh, does the front seat come off first or the back seat? Oh, it's the back seat. Here's the back seat. Can you see that? Little eye thing there to pull. Pull that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, looks a bit messy, doesn't it? Bolt here. Yep, perfect. Take that right out. Goes underneath there, so I'm gonna undo this bolt as well. That's the bigger key. There's a little popper just here down the bottom. Pop that off. Oh, then it just slides out on that. One popper and one slide a oh, well, bolt it looks like I didn't have to remove that one after all you can just pull that off as well pull that off there so we can put that somewhere to try and fish these pipes up here so I can get a bit more length on them so that's that one what I'm going to do is just fold it up and tape it up for now. Don't want to come out. That's it. Then I'll tape it up. It's some yellow tape. And it's pretty obvious. It's something that needs sorting out properly. Roll it round, squash it again, roll it round, squash it again, I'm pretty sure these go to a uh, vacuum pipe so if we uh, let air run into the uh, vacuum system it's not going to, I don't think the uh, engine's going to be too happy with that. So we've done the uh, little black one as well. Push that up to the same place. Do that one. There is a switch here, but it uh, doesn't do anything because there's no wires connected to it on the back. And there is a switch here, which does absolutely nothing. And I have these spotlights here and they don't work whatsoever so please don't worry about this little bobs job because this tank has got to come off to see what's going on with the wiring for these lights but not today okay next job I'm going to do is get these pannier brackets off there's a bolt there and there's a bolt just under there okay so again these are just allen key bolts they're going to be pretty tight. So they are not underneath. I think there's a nut underneath, though. 
yes it's at 12 mil go left that should be loosen so lefty loosen yep righty tighty I'm going to keep these brackets just in case I do get some panniers in the future but uh, looking at the prices of them I think I'll be very lucky there's some, there's some silver ones on eBay right now £200 and that's without the postage that put that bolt somewhere safe I think there's an Allen key under here <laughs> I don't know if I take all this off okay I'm getting it I just don't want these uh, bolts sort of give me a bit of a movement there so now I can get my little key in get it into the bolt and then slowly but surely I'll do it with my spanner I should be able to get that off with my fingers there we go now does this come off Oh, Johnny. Yeah, well, I think we would have to take that off anyway. Right, let's get this top plate off. Right, let's get this top plate off. Final one. Get the tools out of the way. Now then. Here's the bracket. And there's the nut. Right, get this out of the way. And there's two little eight mil bolts there, I've already undone those. there is like columns on this one got one in my hand there there's another one there put that down there and this should just lift off put that down there and then maybe we can see so that's just Falling off of there. <laughs> there we go. Cool. That is pretty heavy. That is really heavy. Wow. Alright, so that's that off. Now let me get the next one off, but you ain't got to see that. Okay, these are part of the panniers as well, so knots on the back, Allen keys on the front. Let's get these off. bad actually a bit of silver touch up as so I'll save all these because you never know I might just come across some panniers don't care what colour they are as long as they're cheap enough look still stuck in that spatter Ok, 
Come on here, fucker. There we go. Oh, good to put the weight lift in with these. They're pretty heavy. I put all the uh, nuts and bolts and brackets back on. So I'll keep them just in case I need them because I have got a spare key for them. So yes, I think that will do for today. Made a bit of progress on what we've got to do. I know it's not a lot, but it all helps. If you've made it this far and you're not subscribed and you enjoyed my video, please subscribe and share it. And on that note, I'll see you in another life, brother. Take care.